EZ30 versus EJ33. Yes, what we have here. Let's uh, talk about the facts uh, from this six cylinder engine to the new generation of the six cylinder engine. Let's start here with the old boy. Um, yes, you see, this EJ33 looks mainly like an EJ engine. That means we have the same cylinder distance clearance that is like the EJ 113 millimeters from uh, cylinder to cylinder. Um, the stroke is the same and the original bore from the EJ engine is 97 millimeters but uh, maybe you know this engine we have already sleeved. Uh, we need it for our, one of our projects. Um, but th that's not the reason why we do this video. I only want to show you the difference between this, these two engines and why I love this engine more than this one here. Okay, um, the main journal, it is the original bore like the EJ engine, 64 uh, millimeters. And the oil flow on this engine is nearly the same like by the EJ engine. We have here at the front sitting the oil pump. It produces pressure, it goes through this oil gallery here and then from here to the to the heads and at the same at this side we have here one bore for the oil flow and here's a gallery for the main journal it comes here to main journal number two three four and on the other side it goes to one and five and six and seven. Yes, um, this engine is, uh, I will say, middle trusted because the main bearing is here at this position. That's the same like uh, by the old EJ engine style. They have it um, till I think 99 on this position, and after 99, it is here at the rear thrust. Um, yes, and I think here I show you that's a normal EJ engine, EJ25. You know it maybe from your SDI. Here you see it is pretty funny because it is like a EJ with a third cylinder. Yes, and the, uh, flat, the, the, the adaptation, take a look here from the front, it's, everything is the same. For the water pump, for the oil pump, and I found that is pretty cool. Now at this engine we have already installed sleeves, um, but the original EG33 have really really big sleeves. I think it is maybe four or five millimeters. Um, I, you can see it in one of my other videos. Maybe I do it there in link. Um, let's go over to the EZ30. Yes. Uh, it looks a little bit different uh, than this one. I think it, it looks a little, a little bit for me like an alien. <laughs> and um, let's start here with the, with the main journal. The main journal is a little bit um, bigger, the 68 millimeters. And um, the original bore was 89.2 uh, millimeters. Okay, let's talk about the deck of the engine. Um, you will see here. Um, really thin cylinders and the liner maybe you can show it at the bottom of the cylinder yeah there you see the thin liner that is uh, maybe two millimeters or something like this and that's not good because a lot of uh, engines have here head gasket problems that's maybe the same like uh, by the EJ engine, EJ25 engine um, they need yes of course uh, this closed deck if you want uh, to handle a little bit more horsepower and, and if you want to drive the EZ engine with a little bit of boost uh, you have with uh, high RPM vibration in this uh, thin cylinders you need here a closed deck as well yes the cylinder distance is 98.4 millimeters. The bar will do this because when you have here a lot of material, you have the problem that um, it heated up here at the top between uh, the cylinders and um, the cooling is not so good. Here at this, I can show you here. And that's why the FA engine, 
the BRZ engine have here and um, I can show it here. Here. You see, see a small channel for uh, cooling flow and that's better because then you have not this point was not cooled here in this area and when it is lo so like this engine it will start knocking here at this point. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, the journal was a little bit bigger and the oil flow at this engine is absolutely crazy. <laughs> um, we have the main gallery and at one side here. At the bottom you see it here. That's the main jig, uh, oil jig gallery for the main journal and um, the oil pressure comes here through this channel here to the engine in this main journal gallery and from here to here to the heads and of course to these heads too. Uh, I think it is a little bit uh, complicated and um, mm -hmm. you have here a fat plate. I don't know how it calls in English. Um, yeah. Ah, yeah, it is. Uh, it is a little bit like the engine, like the FA engine. It is a hybrid between FA and um, the diesel engine. How call the the DJ diesel? No. E yes, EZ20. I think it is. No, EZ20D. I think something like this. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Um, what I want to say, <laughs> the cylinders are never ever so strong as from the EJ. The EJ you can boost it, I think, easily when it is stock, seven, eight hundred horsepower with the stock with stock liner and maybe good head starts and something like this. But um, this engine is with original. Uh, what is this? 250 horsepower or something like this. Uh, it, it, it already have uh, head gasket problems and uh, when I see these cylinders that's normal, yes. Okay, so if you want to boost to your EZ engine you need minimum a close stack and good head starts um, but don't ask me, I will never do that. <laughs> okay guys, um, that was only a short uh, clip, I only want to present you, I only have to um, my job by this engine was only to bore and hone and uh, surface the deck. Tomorrow it is away here. <laughs> I checked some videos from this engine, it is uh, with so much many boats and so. The FA is not nice, but this engine is uh, uh, a full disaster. So guys, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Ciao.